Okay, good morning traders. Just about five to seven here. A couple of quick things I want to go over. The next few months I have a couple of things lined up for the YouTube channel and the blog. Um, I've got a couple of interviews. First of all, I'm going to be interviewing a trader, a lifestyle trader. Um, and then second interview I have lined up is with a psychologist and international speaker. Quite looking forward to both of them. I think there'll be a lot of value in the interviews um, and there should be a lot of important information and things that you can learn and pick up from them. Um, on top of that, in May, what I'm going to do is make a vlog. So I'm going to be on camera for, for the first time, really. I'm hoping it's going to be a sort of inspiration video. Um, basically, I've arranged the trip. I'm heading to Monaco for the Grand Prix. But the trip itself, I'm leaving from Scotland. I'm driving through Europe. Um, and every day of the trip, I'm basically going to be driving through Europe in a different supercar. And then on the way back also. So basically a Ferrari, Lamborghini, McLaren, um, GTR, R8. You know, I've got them all lined up um, for a different one each day on the trip. I'll make a vlog of that and hopefully, you know, rather than just posting up results every week, hopefully this will show what can be achieved with trading if you just learn your trades, if you look at it with a long-term view, if you don't buy into the get-rich-quick. You know, really with trading for me, I say minimum one year to learn um, and to become consistent. You know, it's, you know, it's, it's a difficult industry. Um, I want to try and get that across, but I also want to show you that um, for me, trading is, you know, my why for trading. I, I love trading. I love watching the charts. I love looking for the patterns and executing my trading plan. But for me, the why for trading is the freedom of trading. You know, I don't have anybody to answer to. Um, I can... I can decide to take a holiday on a month's notice like this, um, you know, because I don't have to ask for time off. Um, I have absolute freedom within reason to do what I want. Um, and, you know, for me, that's that's my why of trading. And hopefully this will, you know, it will show you that as long as you're taking a long-term view, as long as you're willing to set your risks properly, you know, not risk too much, not blow up your accounts because you want things too quickly. You can achieve great things through trading. Okay, so today, this morning, we are still in our range on the FTSE. Been in this range for weeks now. It's, it's one of the longest ranges that I can remember, really. Um, still, for me, until we break above the zone up here, the top of the range, still negative bias, still expecting the market to come down. You know, it's, it's just purely based on what the market's telling me. And um, that doesn't change until we break above here. And I don't just mean, you know, the market shoots up and then collapses back down again. We would need to break up above here and remain above here. So no false breaks, um, no breaking up one day and then this next morning we just come straight back down again. What we've done is we broke out of the triangle. We then tried to break down. We broke down very strongly. Then we had the yell and rally, which took us all the way back up again. Next day, the weakness came back into the market. We shot all the way back down again. Then we had better than expected non-farm payroll results. Back up again, we went. And this morning we are slightly down once again. You know, um, overall analysis, still going to see us coming down. Certainly into the 6,020 levels to the 6,000 levels. That's what the market's telling me. So that's the way I'm analyzing it. Until we see something different, you know, it's, it's not going to change. Okay, so these arrows, I'm just going to get rid of them. I didn't realize they would come onto the lower time frame. Okay, so, so for me, really, overall view of the market is negative, but whilst we remain in the range, I'm just purely going to be trading off of the identified zones that I have 
each day. So, you know, we've got one 6165 to 6166 today, 6136 down to 6130, um, 6200 to 6203. And really, this is this is basically the bottom of the range. If we break out of here once again, it's just a further confirmation of the weakness of the market. I'd certainly be interested in breaks, returns to the zone, and sells once again. Down below, this is where we had the very strong bounce. Um, this is basically where the Yellen rally started. 6066 to 6062, the market came down, bounced off of here shot up a little bit, um, then Yellen gave her speech and the market just took off. Down below we have 6.012 to 6.018 and 6 the 6.036, 6.037 level. You know this for me, when we're ranging like this, it's, it's, it's just identifying the zones, trading the zones until the market either confirms the negative sentiment and starts collapsing away it may happen today. You know, you can see we're already coming down. We're very close to the 6100 level. Um, we have fallen away overnight. Yet, yeah, you know, today we have another very good chance of the market breaking down. Um, certainly, oops. Certainly we've been in this range for a very long time. So, you know, I'm not expecting the market to remain in it for too much longer you know it's been th you know three four weeks basically a month of not doing anything at all we've tried to break down twice strongly both times it has pushed back up because of news um but you know with the news pushing it back up the overall weakness of the market is still there i identified this through this candle here even after the rally the yellen rally we still failed at the 6200 levels. You know, it's just confirming weakness. Um, and my view of that will not change until we can get above this level right here. Until we do that, we are still negative. Okay, so I'll come back at 4.30. I'll take you over what the market did. Um, I'll go through how the zones reacted. And I'll talk you through what I traded. Okay, so it's 4.30. The FTSE is just about to close. Um, we opened up here at 8 o'clock, opened up around about 6.125. Um, as I identified this morning in the video, the main area I wanted to watch, um, really the main trade I wanted to take was a break through this zone here. We broke through here. We then returned up into the area and the market subsequently sold off. Um, it's the only trade I took today. The market was showing me weakness. It's been showing me weakness for quite some time now. Um, so although it's been in a range and we've been trading it as a range, this was the preferred move I wanted to see. I wanted to see the break and the return and then the sell down. Targets are the next zone, of course. The market came down. Um, I actually got out at this candle. Let me just change this. This candle right here at 10.45. And that was me done for the day. However, the market has then came down into the pre-identified range, the bottom of the range. Uh, we've bounced up once, came down twice. And this actually also ties in with anybody who's watched the video regarding double tops and double bottoms. The market makes a double bottom here, which fits in with the, the rules. We've got a higher second touch. And the market subsequently rallied all the way back up into the key area of 6105 to 6197.4 once again. Um, for me, really now, overnight, the overnight trading session, the American session, which is still open, and the overnight Asian session. I want to see how the market reacts um, to that. Really, I'd like to see the market remaining below, certainly 6120 now, um, to confirm the sell-off that I am still expecting to come in a little bit stronger than what happened today. Okay, guys, hopefully that was helpful. Um, as always, please do subscribe to Decisive Trading if you are learning how to trade. Um, any other information, I will leave the website address on the video.